We look back now at a largely forgotten aspect of Bush's war on Iraq, the vast domestic propaganda campaign that occurred in the United States before the invasion began. The story centers on a young Kuwaiti woman named Nayira. On October 10, 1990, the 15-year-old girl gave riveting testimony before Congress about the horrors inside Kuwait after Iraq invaded. Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, my name is Nayira, and I just came out of Kuwait. My sister, with my five-day-old nephew, traveled across the desert to safety. There was no milk available for the baby in Kuwait. They barely escaped when their car was stuck in the desert, desert sand, and help came from Saudi Arabia. I stayed behind and wanted to do something for my country. The second week after an invasion, I volunteered, volunteered at the al Hospital with 12 other women who wanted to help as well. I was the youngest volunteer. The other women were from 20 to 30 years old. While I was there, I saw the Iraqi soldiers come into the hospital with guns. They took the babies out of the incubators, took the incubators and left the children to die on the cold floor. It was horrifying. I could not help but think of my nephew. Nayira's testimony was rebroadcast across the country and marked a turning point in public opinion on going to war. President George H.W. Bush repeatedly cited her claims. And they had kids in incubators, and they were thrown out of the incubators so that Kuwait could be systematically dismantled. Three months after Nayira testified, President George H.W. Bush launched the invasion of Iraq. But it turned out Nayira's claims weren't true. No human rights group or news outlet could confirm what she said. It also turned out Nayira was not just any Kuwaiti teenager. She was the daughter of the Kuwaiti ambassador to the United States, Saad Nasir al-Sabah. She had been coached by the public relations firm Hill & Knowlton, which was working for the Kuwaiti government. We're joined now by the journalist who first revealed Nayira's identity, Rick MacArthur, the president and publisher of Harper's Magazine, the author of the book Second Front, Censorship and Propaganda in the 1991 Gulf War. I mean, so, you know, as we said, this is, is a turning point. You have this teenager, this girl, saying she witnessed this, um, that Iraqi soldiers came into Kuwait and ripped babies out of Kuwaiti incubators. But she was only referred to as Nayira at the time of the testimony. It wasn't Nayira al-Sabah, so you would know that she is the daughter of the Kuwaiti ambassador, who also testified in that hearing. <laughs> Correct. Uh, that's all part of the propaganda uh, plan, is to maintain her anonymity uh, to protect her, sh her and her family against repri reprisals in Kuwait. That, that was the cover story. But, of course, nobody bothered to try to find out who she really was. They just bought the story hook, line, and sinker, even though at the time there were a couple of human rights investigators who were becoming suspicious. Uh, I got onto the trail after the war, unfortunately, uh, and was able to run down what really had happened, which was that Hill and Knowlton selected her uh, as a persuasive witness to this atrocity, and um, it was all part of a campaign to turn Saddam Hussein, at least in the public uh, uh, consciousness, into Adolf Hitler. And the, the feeling was that they couldn't sell the Gulf War without this. In other words, they had to cheat to win. And that's what interests me about the uh, eulogies for George Bush. Uh, he's being presented now as this paragon of kind of WASP respectability and integrity, old school. When, in fact, uh, uh, he was a had a violent side to him, a very uh, angry and violent and uh, uh, ruthless side to him. And when you see him doing the propaganda, using the Hill and Knowlton uh, disinformation, you see a side, a side of a politician that's kind of ugly. And we're still, as Juan said, we're still living with the consequences of our having placed troops in Saudi Arabia, because that's what sets off bin Laden, finally.